Today for math, we're going to be practicing some more length word problems. Now, this is the last official video for Unit 7, but in this unit, we've practiced some word problems where we just needed to add or subtract two numbers. We also practiced problems where we needed to add three or four numbers to find the perimeter around something. This unit and this lesson will have both of those things. So we really need to read the questions carefully to see what we need to do in each problem. Let's take a look at the very first story problem for today. A roll of blue painter's tape is 80 feet long to start. Julia uses 25 feet for her painting project. How much tape is left? Now let's take a look and see what we know. First, we know that at the start, the painter's tape is 80 feet long. That's pretty long. We also know that Julia uses 25 feet for her project. So if Julia is using the tape, do you think that we should add or subtract in this problem? I think you're right. I think we're going to need to subtract because if she uses the tape, she's not getting more of it. She's going to have less. So let's take 80 minus 25 to subtract. Now, we've practiced this before. We know what to do. We start in the ones. Can I have zero and give you five? No, I can't. So I need to ungroup a 10 to give myself 10 ones. Now I have 10 minus 5. In second grade, I think that might be a double because 5 plus 5 gives us 10. Now let's have 7 minus 2. 7, 6, 5. So there are, let's see, 55. Now I need to think about my units. My unit in measurement are things like inches and feet and centimeters and meters. And if I look at my problem, today's unit for this problem is feet. So Julia has 55 feet left of her tape, which is still quite a lot of tape. Let's look at another problem. Mrs. Letty is building two new bookshelves. The first shelf is 75 inches long. The second shelf is 17 inches longer than the first shelf. How long is the second shelf? Let's see what we know. We know that the first shelf is 75 inches long and the second shelf is 17 inches longer. Now, if something's longer, is my number going to be more or less, bigger or smaller? It's going to be bigger. And if I need a bigger number, that means I'm going to need to add. Just like we always do, let's start in the ones. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, I made a new 10. 7, 8, 9. Wow. 92, then let's look in the problem for our units. I see inches. So the second shelf is 92 inches long. That's a very long shelf. I wonder what she's using it for. Mrs. Krause is putting a fence in her backyard. The lengths of the sides are 18 feet, 25 feet, 18 feet and 25 feet. How long will the fence be? Now, second graders, what kind of shape do you think this will be if we have 18 feet, 25 feet, 18 feet, and 25 feet? Do you think it might be a square? No, squares all have the same number on all four sides. What about, could it be a rectangle with 18 feet, 18 feet, 25 feet, and 25 feet? 
I think that might be correct because the opposite sides are the same. Now we want to find the perimeter around the whole fence. So that means we need to add up all four numbers. I'm going to use that all together method that we talked about before. So I'm putting all four numbers stacked on top of each other and I'm going to add them up. Let's see. Well, I know that five plus five is 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Ooh, in 26, I made two new tens and I pull the six down to the bottom. Don't forget, not one new 10, two new tens. Now let's count up the tens. 2 plus 2 is 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 86, and let's think about our unit. What should it be? Feet, because everything in this problem was measured in feet. Here's another one. Jude and Nick are running a race. Jude runs 52 meters. Nick runs 37 meters. How many fewer meters does Nick run? Oh, you know what, second grade? This is giving me a hint about something. This problem is kind of reminding me of comparison bars. Now, I could solve it without a comparison bar, but I have two people and I saw the word fewer. I'm wondering if I could put this in a comparison bar. Now let's see what we know. We know that Jude runs 52 meters and Nick runs 37 meters. Which one's bigger, 52 or 37? 52. That means that Jude gets the large bar and Nick gets the smaller bar. Now let's plug in our numbers. Jude runs 52 meters, Nick runs 37 meters, and we are looking for how many fewer meters. That means that I don't know my circle, my mystery circle. Now if I'm looking at this like a math mountain, if my king's at the top, should I add or should I subtract? I need to subtract because nobody can be bigger than the king. Here we go. 2 minus 7. I can't do that. I need to ungroup. 12 minus 7. Oh, that I can do. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. And 4 minus 3. That gives me 1. 15, and my unit here is meters. Excellent job, second grade. Let's do one more practice problem. At Evan City Elementary, the flagpole is in the front of the school. The flagpole is 71 feet tall. The flag covers 13 feet of it. How long is the part of the pole without the flag? Now that was a little bit confusing, second grade. I think I'm going to draw a picture. If your school has a flag pole out in the front, you probably know what it looks like, kind of like this. Ours, we have a couple of, um, a couple of flags at our school. We have the United States of America flag, kind of looks like this one. We also have at my school, the Pennsylvania flag. Let's say this is our flag. And let's say the whole pole from the very bottom to the very top is 71 feet. That's a pretty big flag pole. And this little part right here, second graders, is 13 feet. Now, what the question wants us to find out is how long this part is with no flag. 
Now looking at our little sketch, do you think we need to add 71 and 13? Or do you think we need to subtract 71 minus 13? Hmm, if I add, I'm going to get a number that's bigger than 71. And can this little bottom part be bigger than 71 feet? No, that wouldn't make any sense because the tallest part is 71 feet, so we can't be bigger than that. Let's go ahead and let's subtract. If I have one, can I give you three? Nope, let's ungroup and get 10 more ones. 11, 10, 9, 8, and 6 minus 1, that gives me 5. So 58, and I look in my problem for my units, feet.